Hi guys, it's Jessica from Chambray Blues. It's been a while since I did anything in the group. Um, maybe haven't even gone live before, but here I am. And I'm glad you're here. I've had a lot of new likes on the page recently and sent out a lot of new invites for the group. So we are starting to grow and it's time to start um, getting to know each other a little bit. So today I just want to tell you a little bit about what's going on with me and what will be going on here in the group as we get towards fall and holiday season. I have all kinds of cool things planned. You're going to love it. Um, so first of all, one of the things, one of the reasons I haven't been real active is because we have our house on the market. Um, we are actually looking to maybe relocate a little bit warmer place than Wisconsin. Um, not exactly sure where, but that's kind of the goal. And it's hard to be consistent when you have your house on the market. I'll be in the middle of a project or something and I'll have to drop everything for a showing and it's crazy. So you know how it is. Um, also, um, my mother lives with us. I don't know if you have seen me post anything about that, but um, she is 88 and got a little dementia going on here and there and I spent a lot of time um, helping her do things. So anyway, that's kind of what's been going on, but I'm hoping to be more regular and more active um, going into fall here in the group and on the page. So a few things um, I want to talk about. So this month I've been working on unfinished objects. I'm trying to get rid of my summer projects, finish them up so I can start the fall ones in August. And um, don't know what you're sewing, but I'd love to know. I'd love to see what your projects are. So if you send, post a picture in the group or a status update, so this is what I'm making, this is the fabric I found, or this is my favorite pattern, we'd love to see it. We want to build a community where we can share ideas and knowledge and um, kind of get to know each other. Uh, on that level. I went to a local um, sewing group event just recently and met some great ladies and it just reminded me of how important it is to have a community, especially if you're a creative person. You need those other creative people around you to inspire you and to um, help you along your journey no matter what stage you're at. Because no one's, a, not everyone is uh, been sewing for a long time and we can help inspire those who are new to it and it's just a really good um, thing all around for everybody. So that said, uh, I would like to start doing some weekly question and answer sessions. So I'm gonna post um, a graphic here in the group and you can drop your questions in there. It could be about sewing, uh, it could be about sewing room organization or you know whatever it is, I will, go live and answer the questions once a week. And um, if you have any specific needs for, you know, like pattern making or fitting issues, I'd love to know that too. I can do demonstrations on how to correct things in the group because I'm sure there'll be other people out there who have similar, similar questions and we can answer everybody's questions at once that way. Okay. So look for that coming up and start making a list of your questions. I always keep a little notepad uh, right next to my sewing machine. And if I think of uh, something I need to buy or something I need to research, I just make a little note as I work. Because once you're finished with the project, sometimes you kind of forget um, what you were struggling with. And that way you always have um, a few notes to go back to to figure it out. So um, upcoming pattern releases. So this is kind of exciting. I've been working on five different designs this last couple of months, and they are pretty much finished. I have to send the patterns out to be graded. I am a big believer in professional grading, and I've tried doing it myself, I've done some of it myself, and it's just not up to my own standards. <laughs> so I'm gonna be sending them out to be graded, and once they're graded, they are going to be ready um, for you to purchase as a PDF download. I will have paper patterns available as a purchase option later on, but probably not right away in the beginning um, because you have to have a certain amount of um, time and development before I can really make that happen. So what are the patterns? So there's five different ones. The first one is a caftan. It's gonna be in two lengths. Uh, I did mine in yellow terry cloth but 
definitely you can do other types of fabric. Um, a knit interlock would be great. A lightweight jersey would also work. Um, I put trim on mine. You can have it with trim, without trim, whatever. So that's one of the patterns. It's got some cute little pockets on the front for your cell phone. Everybody loves pockets. And the next one is a robe and a gown. So I don't know if you realize, but I am a lingerie designer. That's my experience in the garment industry. And I really want to focus more on lingerie. My patterns will come in large sizes, uh, hopefully all the way up to a 5X, um, at least to a 3X. I've got to work that out with the grading company, but that's my plan. And I want them to be size inclusive for everyone because I am not a small person. I'm a, small, a size 20. And I know there are lots of us women, especially as we're a little bit older, who want those larger sizes. So anyway, that's what's coming. Um, so this is a, a cotton seersucker robe. It has lace trim. It's not a super difficult sew. Comes with a belt. Also has the ever important pockets in the side seam. And then the gown that goes with it is just a simple flutter sleeve gown with lace trim. Again, working with lace, learning to sew with lace. It's got a little um, tchotchke on the front, a little bow, and there is also lace around the hem of this one. Okay, so that was, that's the next two patterns. And then this is my most recent one. It's a black sheath dress, very simple dress. This is black um, scuba knit. It's a crinkled scuba knit that I used for this one. And the capelet that goes over the top. I did some um, kind of fancy scallop stitching on the capelet. That is an optional stitch. You can use other kinds of fabrics. This um, tool came embroidered with this design on it. and. I wanted to match what was already here. So I matched the scallops on the bottom and made the scallops on the side. So that will be another pattern too. And I absolutely love this one because it's super versatile. It's just a loose top. It's really simple to put together. Um, it's actually one piece of fabric, front and back. So that's really easy. And it'd be great with jeans or um, you could do it out of lace and put it over a nightgown. You could do a ton of stuff with it. Um, this one I'm going to wear to a wedding that we have coming up in the next couple of weeks. So those are my five new pattern designs that I will be coming out with very soon, as soon as I can get them graded and um, have them uploaded to my page. So I need some help from you guys in the group. You are my go-to people. You've been, some of you have been here for a while, and I really appreciate your support. I am looking for a few pattern testers. And what I mean by a few, I'm thinking five or six people maybe, um, to try out the patterns and help proofread sewing instructions. I am not a big believer in wasting a lot of time with you know, 50 people sewing the same pattern. I don't think that that helps. Uh, I am looking for just a few people who um, can give me some good feedback, maybe some pictures, and help share um, maybe in our group what they did with the design. And then I will use your feedback in my pattern development um, to make sure that my sizes are on track and that these sewing directions are clear um, for everyone, including those who are beginner sewers. So that's what I'm looking for. If you are interested, please send me a direct message. I will, um, if I have time, I'll put together just a little form you can fill out here in the group. Um, if you know someone who might be interested, please tag them or send them an invite to the group. Um, it's a free group right now, and um, I would love to connect with some people who can help me with this and with these projects. I'm hoping to have more patterns come out um, before the end of the year. So we'll see how fast I can get these uh, put together and how you know the testing goes. And we want to get them out as soon as we can because we all want to sew more stuff, right? 
Okay, um, so that's one thing I'm looking for. So make sure and share with your friends because I would really love to connect with the right people. Um, as I said, I'm not looking to have a ton of people do this. I think that other companies who do that are kind of looking more for self-promotion and I am not really super interested in that. I just want to make sure that we've got the basics covered, that um, everything is up to par for a variety of people. That's my goal with doing it. Um, so that's, that's what I need. Okay, I'm looking for a couple of other people though. So we are hiring on a contract basis for some projects. So as you may or may not know, I have done a number of t-shirt designs. They're on the blog. Um, there's been photos here in the group, I think, too, of the t-shirts that I've designed. I use my Cricut Maker um, for all my t-shirt designs, but that is super time consuming. And I really love the apparel design process more than the t-shirt design process. That being said, I would like to hire a graphic artist to make a few um, t-shirt designs for me, um, maybe on a monthly basis, and have those available um, for you guys in the group. So if you are a graphic artist and are interested in doing that or have any experience doing that, send me a direct message. I would love to hear from you and we need to chat about what we can do um, to work together. The other special person I'm looking for is an embroidery designer. I would love to have someone that I can go to for um, projects and say, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an embroidery for a robe or whatnot and, and work together and um, have someone that can put together um, an embroidery file that can be used on um, an uh, embroidery machine, sewing machine that embroiders uh, for um, some of the upcoming patterns that I'm making. So please let me know if you are an embroidery designer, or if you know somebody that's an embroidery designer, tag them, send me a message, let me know. Um, I'd want to connect with some of those people, okay? Um, let's see, what else? All right, the podcast is back. I have taken a little bit of a break uh, from the podcast, but I've got some upcoming episodes that you're gonna love. Uh, next week, I have an interview scheduled with Anita from Anita by Design. If you don't know who Anita is, I'll leave a link uh, here for her page. She is a fabulous sewist. She's a brand ambassador for Baby Lock Sewing Machines, and she just does a great job. Um, she's also a really sweet Christian lady, and I'm really looking forward to chatting with her about her sewing journey. So we will have that upcoming on the podcast. Uh, meanwhile, going forward into August, so. Um, this month, as I said, I'm finishing up some of my unfinished summer projects. And starting in August, I'm going into some fall looks and some fall colors. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm choosing a little theme for each month. So my theme for August is black leopard. So who doesn't love leopard, right? It's perfect for fall. So this is my inspiration fabric. Look at the color in there. Ooh, I love it. Awesome, I'm gonna do some really great things with that. So that's um, going to be coming up. I will have pictures, I'll have um, inspirational photos, and hopefully a couple of new designs with some black leopard fabric. So each month we're gonna have um, a theme going forward. It's not set in stone. If you can follow along if you want to, if you wanna join in, enjoy and sew something with the theme of the month. I would love to see what you create. If you post it here in the group or leave a picture on the page, I would absolutely love to share it with everyone else because that's inspiring. We love to be inspired. I will try and set up a calendar so that you know what's going on um, from now until the end of the year with the theme so you can kind of think ahead or watch for fabric. Um, when you see it on sale, um, if you want to think about doing some kind of fun themed projects. All right, so I think that's everything for today, but I'm going to set up um, a feed for the question and answer. I'll try and do question and answer on Monday next week. Um, so if you have a question, keep in mind and drop it into the, the feed, and I will look it over, and I'll be back next week with some answers for you. Okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks for being in the group, and we'll talk to you again soon.
Bye.